before we start this video, a large thank you to Jake, Dash, Vladimir, Zachary, Jack, Ryan, Noah, Jung, and Kenneth for their support on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello guys and welcome to the new episode. So today we're going to start off on the character stats. And what we're going to do today is we're going to put the foundation in for our poise system. Now let's make a header and let's call this poise. So let's start off by making a public variable. We're going to make it a public float. We're going to call this total poise defense. And now I'm just going to comment. So this is basically the total poise uh, that will be calculated after you've taken damage. And I say total because we're going to make our poise system based on Dark Souls uh, 3, which means you get a base poise from your armor and poise uh, from the weapon that you're attacking with during that attack. So let's say public float, and then we're going to say offensive poise bonus. And this will be the bonus that you get while you're attacking. So I'll just say the poise you gain during an attack with a weapon. If you want to get really creative, you can give each individual attack its own poise. So light attack, heavy attack, running attack, etc. Next, let's say public float. Let's say armor poise bonus. So this will be the poise you gain from the armor you have equipped currently. And you will only get the offensive poise bonus during a certain point in your attack, which we'll handle, handle in the future. Uh, so next, we're also going to say public float. We'll call this total poise, re or, uh, total poise reset time. I'm going to initialize mine at 15, um, and then we're going to make a public float poise reset timer. So basically, we have this because your poise can actually get degraded uh, during a fight, and you can lose some of it, and it will come back over time if you're not hit for a few seconds. Uh, 15 is a bit long, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes because we're going to be testing this on a boss. So uh, yeah, we got our offensive poise bonus, which is what you get while attacking with a weapon, and then your armor poise bonus which is what you get for having armor equipped and then your total poise is a combination of the two of those so remember you only get the offensive poise bonus while you are attacking so in this video let's handle the armor poise bonus uh, and just basically set up the system to support the future offensive poise bonus now bosses and regular npcs and players have a slightly different mechanic uh, than just regular attacker poise we'll get to that so Let's make a public virtual void, and let's call that handle poise reset timer. We're going to simply say if poise reset timer is greater than zero, we're going to say poise reset timer is equal to poise reset timer minus time dot delta time. And then we're going to say else. So if the poise reset timer is at zero, we're going to simply say total poise defense is equal to whatever armor we have on right now. So we'll say um, our armor poise bonus and this timer will be put to 15 or whatever number it's at every time the character or uh, creature is hit we're going to add that in in a little bit so let's just add a protected virtual void update up here if not you can actually just call this function on the character manager if you'd rather i'm just going to say handle poise reset timer and put that in there okay that is good so we have very bare bones idea of what's going on here. So let's start implementing some logic. But first, let's on start. Let's just say our total poise defense equals armor poise bonus. So that's put in right away at the start. Okay, so over here on the damage collider, we have the on trigger enter uh, function. And we're here where the enemy is. Right now, we have uh, if enemy is boss, but we're going to change that a little bit. So first, let's just say um, enemy stats. If the enemy stats total poise defense is greater then i'm just going to say poise break we haven't made this variable yet but think of it as the attacking poise power of the weapon and then we're just going to actually um we're going to add some more logic in here we're going to say enemy stats dot poise reset timer is equal to enemy stats dot total poise reset time so if you're hit the poise timer gets enabled basically and the countdown begins. And then we're going to say enemy stats dot total poise defense is equal to enemy stats dot total poise defense and that will be minus poise break. So basically we're subtracting some poise that the enemy currently has. Uh, whoops, that's supposed to be total poise defense, apologies. From the weapons poise break that we're attacking with. 
And now we don't have this created as a variable yet, but don't worry, we'll get to that in a moment. Just gonna set the logic first. We're gonna simply say debug.log to down here in the functionality. Uh, enemy poise is currently, and we're gonna put space, and we're going to pass the enemy stats dot total poise. So we just wanna make sure this works and we can see it going down in real time. Now, as for the poise break variable, well, let's go up here and we can put this, well, we have this current weapon damage variable here. We can just create a header for this. First, I'll make a header called poise. And then I'll make a header for this. Uh, we'll just call that damage. Okay, so under here, let's make a public float. And we're just going to call that poise break. And this will be the power your weapon has to break someone's poise or guard in the future. And then we're going to make a public float. Let's call this offensive poise defense. And that will be the poise bonus you gain while attacking with a weapon. I might rename that actually, but for now, this is fine. Okay, let's minimize that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the weapon item script and let's actually go right below the damage header here. Let's make a header and call this poise. Let's make a public float and let's call this poise break. And then let's make a public float and call this offensive. What did I call that before? So you've already forgotten. That's not a good sign. Offensive poise defense. Yeah, I think we're going to rename that. Let's call this offensive poise bonus. That sounds much nicer and much more to the point, it suits it. So this is the bonus you get when offensively attacking to your poise. All right, that's good. Now let's find where we call this current weapon damage. Okay, so where we load our weapon damage collider, we can also load our poise break because we're signing those variables to the damage collider script itself. So we're gonna say left hand damage collider dot poise break is equal to player inventory dot left weapon dot poise break. And we'll do the same down here for the right uh, weapon damage collider. We'll say right hand damage collider dot poise break is equal to player inventory dot right weapon dot poise break. Now that should be all initiated fine and that should assign to our weapons when we start the game. So let's just go down here for a second and I'm actually going to um, go over to my weapon. Actually first let's just check this real quick. Yeah right so in this project we handle it differently for the player and enemy. It's the same thing we're just looking for a different tag. Um, I'm, I'm going to change that in the future. We're going to do a housekeeping episode real soon. I know I've said it a couple times, but it's it's happening. So um, we're going to copy the logic from down here. Um, and where it says player stats right here does not equal null. Just copy and paste all that and basically replace enemy stats with player stats. Um, yeah, I'm probably... The, the housekeeping episode won't actually be its own episode for the week. I'm just going to do it and release an episode as well. Uh, because it will just be me basically moving things around and reorganizing structure and such, but it won't replace the the uh, actual episode that will be aired that week. All right, so now if we go to the weapon we've created here, I got I'm going to my sword. I'm going to add 25 to the poise break. I'm going to go to my boss character here, and we don't have the armor set up to load uh, the poise bonus yet, so I'm just going to manually insert it. Armor poise bonus will say let's say 75 or 25, whatever you want. Um, and if we start the game here. Actually, I'm going to also change the recovery time on the attacks for the boss. So he's a bit slower as a boss should be, at least for demonstration purposes. We'll keep the second phase attacks faster. That makes more sense. All right, so um, down here on the enemy stat scripts, I'm just going to go right here and set the armor poise bonus. Uh, as you can see, I've set it to 75. Now on start, it should, yep, it sets the total poise defense to 75. So I should be able to hit this guy once and he shouldn't react to it. And then he should react there on after because my poise will be greater than his poise defense. So if I hit him, yes, he does not. And then he reacts after. So that works great. Excellent. Now to demonstrate that more clearly, I'm just going to show you one more time. I will basically, I will basically raise his poise uh, further. And then I will show you so you can just see that I'm getting a few hits in on this character before he actually plays an animation. Now, as I've said, though, with the boss, this is different, and I'll explain it momentarily. Just let me hit this guy a couple times so you can see it. Yep, there you go, and now he should react after this next one. Now, if I hit him again, yes, there it is. All right, so that is great, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. Now, there is uh, a slight difference that will be added in the system, so I'm going to explain it to you before I end the video. Basically, in Dark Souls, if you break a boss's poise, they don't normally play a damage animation. They actually play an animation that allows you to critically attack them, um, like reposting them, basically. 
So we're going to create a system for the bosses that will enable that kind of system. If you break the boss's guard, because usually the bosses have a lot of poise, instead of just making them play a damage animation, it will allow you to uh, get a critical attack on them. And with players and normal monsters, uh, a poise break or an attack with more poise than poise defense will just basically enable a, um, a damage animation to them. That's all. And that's where we're going to go with this system. So it's going to mimic the poise system from Dark Souls 3. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If so, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment. It does help the series get around jangly a lot. And if you're feeling super generous, check out my Patreon below. I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll finish our poise system.